we are at Danville Mill Pond. We were here before about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Water was still a little bit cold, didn't really catch much except for a couple of suckers and a couple of bass. Water is like several feet lower now, but hopefully we can avoid the snags and catch some fish. Well, got a uh, worm and a hot dog as my bottom bait. So basically, uh, I'm guessing the worm probably gonna get picked up by a sucker. The hot dog is either catfish or pike. They're supposed to be channels and flatheads here. So I'm definitely gonna be um, targeting those kind of fish. Just got a snag. I think I can probably get it out because it's right there. Just got it out, nice. Um, but overall, I do think I'm gonna be uh, trying to get the giant, giant fish here. It's not the best time to come because the catfish are spawning and the northerns, well, it's a little warm for them right now, but hopefully we can get some fish. I got a fish. It's either a carp or a sucker, I'm guessing. Well, everything bites the worms. I guess it could be a channel, but channels generally don't hit until after dark. But I'm guessing it's a, I don't know what it is. It's fighting a little differently from the normal carps and suckers. Oh, it's a drum. Oh, that's a big drum. It's a big drum. It's nice though, it's a fish. Well, it's not a big drum. It's probably like a one and a half pounder maybe. Nice little drum, well, nice decent sized drum. Sheep's head, sheep's head. It's a little bloody right now, but it didn't get throat hooked. It just got uh, hooked on the side of the mouth, so it should be okay. First sheep head I've caught at Danville. Nice freshwater drum. First fish of the day, success. Only took about two minutes. Now it's going back in the water. Um, hang on. There we go, it's getting its bearings back in. There it goes, swimming right back off, swimming right back off. Nice to get the skunk off the board, but not one of my target species. The freshwater drum is one, if not, of the most common fishes I catch, if not the most common fish I catch um, throughout the summer. And uh, I would prefer a smaller, like, rock bass for a live bait and cut bait. I'm not going to use that big drum for a live bait, obviously. But for cut bait, those things are hard to cut apart. So I would rather prefer a smaller rock bass. I know there's plenty of rock bass around here in bluegill, so hoping for one of those. Might have to switch up to a slightly smaller hook if I want to hook a bluegill though. The number one is really only for green sunfish and rock bass. Oh, got another hit. Whatever this is, is pulling harder than the last one, but it's fighting a lot like the last one. So it could just be another drum. I'm actually guessing that's probably what it is, which doesn't make me happy because I don't want another drum. But it does fight harder than the last one. So uh, yeah, a lot of freshies here, which actually might eat my worms. So not really all that interested. Maybe it's a gato fish and I'm lucky. Nope, it's another drum, about the same size. Oh, there's a lot of these here. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the worms all that much, but Another freshwater drum. Ah. Well, that's, I can see these guys are going to be a little bit of a problem for me today. Another one. Another one. Even bigger than the last one. I wonder how big they get here. Probably not huge. There's probably not any like five, six pounders here. But there you go, drift fish. Um, sure it'll... Hang on. Let me just uh, tap it a little bit. All right, let me try to revive it. There you go, swimming off, swimming off. Just needed a little bit of a tap and then it swims off. I hope I have some worms left to acquire a bullhead by the time an evening rolls around or if I can just acquire a rock bass somewhere in there because I know they're in there. So I want bait for a flathead or cut bait for a channel, one of those two, preferably both. Preferably both. Hopefully I can get something over here that's not a snag, which is what I just got. But I really would like to know what's over there because something is making the minnows scared over there and I kind of want to know what has the minnows in such a frenzy. But of course everything eats minnows. So it's not a very good guess if you just randomly guess. It's not a freshwater drum, it's a flathead. It's actually a fish of greater gatoness. It's a flathead gato fish. All right. A flathead, it's probably like two pounds, but it is a flathead catfish. Sweet. A flathead. Check that out, a flathead. 
It isn't a drum. I thought it was a drum, but no, it's a fish of greater gatoness. A flathead catfish. Probably only one or two pounds, but still a nice flathead catfish. All right. This flathead is uh, going back in the water. It's a very nice fish. And off it goes. Swimming carefully, just hanging out in the shallows. I think it's confused because the water is a little uh, shallower than it's used to, but now it's uh, waddling off into the deep end. Flathead catfish. I'm sure there's bigger ones, but I'm, they might be spawning. That was definitely a target species, but just not of the target size. I want one that's 20 plus, which could be actually kind of hard today because they are spawning. So the big monsters are probably too busy uh, doing other catfish things than uh, actually biting my bait. And plus I don't have a live bluegill, unfortunately. I just have, oh, that was a big fish. I don't know what that was, but that was a decent sized fish. I think I'm gonna use a bobber soon because uh, none of these baits are actually working to capture the big fish. I am determined to figure out what this big fish over here is. It's not like horribly big, but it is a decent sized fish. And it's not one of the uh, catfish, drum, etc. So I really want to know what it is. If you guys didn't know, this is actually private land, but the owner allows the public to use it on the condition that you clean up after yourself. So don't screw this up. If you come here, pick up your own crap. So we're going to try like a little mimic minnow thing under a bobber near that thing over there. So you can get any uh, bites by jigging. Uh, we're, we might try the gulp later, um, but I actually kind of forgot I ran out of jig heads, unfortunately. Eventually, probably we'll just switch to the bottom bait. I got it. I got whatever was hunting the minnows. I got it. I don't know what it is, but it's fighting pretty hard. I got, oh, it's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. It's a largemouth. Largemouth bass. Sweet, so that's what was terrorizing those minnows. A largemouth bass. All right, people. Another species, and one I actually haven't caught in a while, despite that, the fact that largemouths are essentially everywhere. I don't really fish for bass, but I got one, a largemouth bass. Today has been very successful. A largemouth bass, an LMB. Figured out what was terrorizing those minnows over there, but it looks like there's more things terrorizing minnows. So uh, let's get back to fishing, but I got myself a nice bass. All right, largemouth bass. Going back in the water. My catch and release thing is doing well, doing well. See a largemouth and it swims off. Three species so far for fish. Very nice, very nice. I like it a lot. I think I'm gonna keep tossing the bobber over there because it's actually working. But uh, I know there's some minnows like close to over here as well. So I'm gonna actually go get my bait bucket and my net. See if I can get some uh, minnows to use as bait. That would be pretty clutch if I could. I think something keeps on tapping my uh, worm pole. And I do actually think um, I am actually going to change that pole around for a smaller hook because if that is a rock bass or something small, I want it for bait for a larger fish later. But uh, yeah, pretty successful today. Four fish, three different species. There is still something over there, which I'm probably just going to um, get a worm jig in a while to toss over there because uh, I want to know what that is. I got the largemouth over there, but I'm pretty sure there's another fish. Got a fish, not the small one I want, but it's a fish. I think it's probably a carp. Ah, come on. It's a small hook, so I don't want it to get off. It's fighting pretty hard, whatever it is. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's either a carp or a sucker. Uh, yeah, it's either a carp or a sucker, by the way, it's fighting. Other fish don't zoom that hard. All right, come on, come on. Oh, it's a catfish. Ooh, a catfish. It's a channel catfish. It's a channel catfish. It's not a, it's not a small one, but it's not huge. It's probably like a four or five pounder. Channel catfish. Nice. That's the fourth species of the day. I think it's might be pre-spawn or post-spawn. I don't know, but a channel catfish. Channel catfish this time, probably like a three-pound catfish. Not very big, but still a very nice catfish. Fourth species of the day. Put this guy back the water. Nice fish, nice fish. Hopefully there's, there's more here. See a catfish? There you go. 
in my quest to catch a uh, rock bass for bait for channel and flatheads, I caught both a channel and a flathead. So uh, it's been a pretty good day today. Four species. Oh, that's a red horse. That's a that's a red horse. Um, and that guy caught me a rock, caught a rock bass, and I'm gonna borrow his rock bass for more glorious fishing. Oh, got a piece of the rock bass head on here for bait. I'm gonna toss it out. So you can get a big monster. Caught just about everything today. Bass, two catfish, two drum. Want to catch a crappie or a walleye. And also, the thing that's really missing is that giant, like, 50 pound flathead. Or 30 pound would work too, you know. I'm not, not that picky. I'd take a 20 or 30. Well, I lost another uh, curly tail grub. I lost all my spare weights. So now I'm doing a, a cut bait, a worm, and another piece of cut bait on the bottom where the current isn't that strong. It's another fish on the worms and it ain't small. I keep on thinking these are bullheads, but I don't think so. I think this is a drum. It doesn't feel too big. Zoom in, I think it's a freshwater, yep, there it is. Freshwater drum, freshwater drum. Oh, did it swallow it? Tell me it didn't swallow the hook. Nope, it's right there. Nice, another fish. About the same size as all the others. Freshwater drum. Ah, the worm's doing some work. Worm's doing some work. Freshwater drum. All right, freshwater drum. See ya, drum. Pretty sure there's a catfish on here. Does not feel small. Oh, I don't know if it's a channel or a flathead. I think it's a channel, it's on cut bait. But, yeah, this is like 20 pound braid, so it shouldn't really be this tough, unless it's actually pretty big. It doesn't feel huge. All right, come on, fish. I gotcha. It's at least like four or five, three or four pounds. All right, come on, fish. I'm really glad I don't have light line here. All right, fish, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's probably bigger than the last one. Uh, what is it? Is this a, that's a catfish. No, it's probably smaller than the last one. No, it's bigger than the last one. It's, it's about the same size. No, it's bigger. I can't, I can't tell actually. I think it's bigger, but I'm not sure. Slightly bigger, slightly bigger. Channel catfish. Nothing's taking the head. I think the head's too big. Channel catfish. This one's probably slightly bigger than the other one, but pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, catfish. There you go, there you go. I see. Praise the Lord. It's been a very successful day so far. Very, very successful day so far. Three catfish, two channels and a flat, and uh, but besides that, I also caught a bass and a couple of drum. So very productive afternoon of fishing so far. Well, we're back from Jaeger Mill. That was fish on fire. A lot of fish there, especially if you just fish like right beneath the dam on the off flow. Um, I think I caught a total of like seven or eight fish in all. And it was really good action. Despite the catfish spawn, I still caught three catfish, two channels and a flathead. I think one or two, the, one or both the channels were kind of like, maybe even post-spawn mode, because they weren't that fat, but the head like indicated spawning. And the flathead, I think, was just too uh, small to spawn. I know there are bigger fish there, that, but they might be spawning. So I do plan to go back there in August or September when the fish are fattening up for the winter and when they'll probably be hitting harder. But that was an excellent place to fish. Only I basically got there at like five o'clock and uh, basically fished for like three or four hours and I caught plenty of fish. I could have caught a lot more if I just had a bunch of worms out because I'm sure there's a lot of drum there and I saw a lot of carp jumping. So it's an excellent adventure. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next fishing adventure.